I don't want to make, um, you know, very, very scientific or explicit video, but I know that Israel in Matthew 24, 25, Jesus speaks about that we will see all those things happen till it's coming back on her after tribulation. Jesus said that uh, truly I say to you this generation not shall not pass till all these things will be fulfilled and uh, when those things will be fulfilled we're going to arrive at the coming back of Christ for the millennium so the fig tree generation is, a, is we know it's a direct direct reference to things happening in Israel and that's a nice fig tree also try to read that yes and Hosea God promised that is his coming is, is as sure as the, the I would say, the, the rain of March, March and April. And um, now we focus on Shavuot, that is Pentecost. And this year it's on the 17th. For Israel, Shavuot is the Pentecost and also the Feast of the Weeks and also the Feast of the Premise, offering of the first record uh, uh, to the Lord. And Shavuot for the Hebrew is in the third month that is the month of Sivan and um, it's interesting that even though it's in our fifth month Gregorian for the Jew it's the third month so it's going to be like 317 and um Sivan is associated with Gemini because it's on the Mount of Sivan that the Moses came back with the the Ten Commandments written on two slab of rock. So that's why they associated they associate Sivan with Gemini, Shavuot. We we can read that it's this. They say it's on May sixteen, but it's important. It's when the sun set because the day in Israel, the next day start when the sun when the sun set in. Israel. So Sunday the 16th at noon, it's the 17th. Another particularity is even though uh, for Jew Sivan is the third month, in the Roman calendar, May is also the third month. We can see here. The, what our months correspond to the Hebrew months and we here clearly see that may correspond with Shivan and I'm wondering is it 316 
for the rapture does it is it uh is it something the lord wants to show us like 316 317 that we know that in john those are very very important word of god I put that here because it's a little bit confusing because for Israel, the 73rd birthday was in April, but for us, the Gentile, it's not the 15th of April, but the 14th of May for the 73rd anniversary of Israel. Well, just a reminder that that uh, if we consider Roman month three, Roman month three, yes, and Hebrew month three, and Sunday the sixteenth at the sunset, Ah, uh, for forgive me. I just, just if we consider Roman, if we consider evil calendar, it's a third month, and Sunday is the sixteen at sunset. So the rapture could be at three sixteen, reference to John three sixteen. I, I decided to go on a. It's a kind of stella, stellarium to to just watch the um, the stars, the sun, the moon on the sixteen. And I don't I don't really know about that, but I I know the sun is, is in the belly of the Taurus, and in Gemini. I know we have Mars and the moon. Mars is in between and the moon is just at the hand of the ar archer. But I, I don't know how to interpret that. I just know this is a sky uh, on the 16th of, um, of May. If someone, if someone wants to help me, I would be glad. And this was another, another, you know, view of the sky with uh, the picture man. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't know. Uh, that soul in French, I don't know how to say it in English. And this is a transposer of time. So when I put it, it was... 4 15 a.m. and uh, in Israel it was I think it's seven hour after 11 I have a hard time to really 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 I work on my phone you know Anyway, we have to watch for that. Someone can help me. And I'm convinced that 228 is the end of, of the fig tree. Of the fig tree. Uh, fig tree. Uh, when Jesus talked about the, the fig tree. That will will see all of those things. What will happen before the coming of Son of Man? I'm convinced that we are in the time of the rapture, without any doubt, without any doubt. And I'm also convinced that the COVID nineteen, uh, the the co the co the co the COVID. Uh, 
refers to the first seal, the white horse with a crown, and strangely, a bow without any arrow. Where can you go with only a bow and no arrows? And this white horse is not Jesus. It's a, it's a bad conqueror. And white makes me think also about, you know, what doctors put on themselves that is white. But the striking word is Corona, crown, you know, and a crown was given to him. So forget, forget my French. And I hope it's useful. And see you on the other side.